Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we'll be doing another split cup ribbon pour. There you see my homemade split cup, it's real easy to do. So here I have these four colors here that are artist sloth. These three here, I'm going to be putting some flood pintrol into them. Just one drop per ounce. So I got about three ounces in those three, so there's three drops. The colors are all artist loft mixed with Floetrol, including my background color, which is artist loft soft body mixed with Floetrol. About two parts paint, one part Floetrol. So I'm going to load these in the cup just as they're sitting here, keeping my opposites away from each other. I don't want to pour like a red on top of a green, for instance, or orange on top of a blue. You'll end up with some nasty brown. Starting with the copper, going to some turquoise green. I'm going to go with some turquoise blue on the other side. I'm going to speed this up in a second and let you listen to some good surf zombie music. So I've got my split cup here. I'm going to pull the divider out nice and slow. I usually do. I don't know why, but just to not to disturb the layering. And then uh, I just wipe the excess off into the cup so I don't waste paint. Set that aside. And we're ready to do our background. Now the background color is mixed just a little bit heavier than the uh, colors. I put just a splash of water in each one of the colors to get just a little thinner consistency. Okay, so I got my split cup. I'm ready to pour. Thank you very carefully how I have the cup orientated so the split is down the middle and I'm starting off the edge of the canvas. I'm initially seeing what kind of rippling I'm going to get from just the way the paint's coming out of the cup. If I don't like the way it's rippling, I'm going to force it to ripple by moving the cup side to side a little bit. Now this pour is going to be a little different than the last couple I've done, uh, made videos for. I'm not going for necessarily nice straight lines. I'm going to do some zigzagging and, and mix them up a little bit. As you'll see here, I kind of ran low on paint in my cup because I didn't plan it out properly. So I'm just going to throw a little more paint in there and uh, continue pouring until I feel like I got the right colors where I want them. First I tried to pour tip it to make that bottom line or top line, depending on your perspective, move. It didn't really want to. so. I'm just going to add some paint.
All right, without uh, destroying the composition, I'm going to try to remove some of the excess paint. Now, please like and subscribe. Like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Here I'm going to zoom in. It's a little blurry. It doesn't really show the details so much. But it's really pretty. It's got tons of shimmer. The copper metallic, gold metallic mixed with the, uh, the aqua green and blue and black. It's, it's pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. And uh, we'll see you next week. Remember to check out my website sometime, jammodernart.com. And check out those surf zombies. They're awesome. They got a YouTube channel also, YouTube slash surf zombies, the surf zombies. Check them out. Here's the finished product. Hope you like it. Mm -hmm.